Okay, welcome everyone. Um, this is a re-recording of lecture 28 from the 16th of May 2016. It's a lecture in two parts. First part is on general logic circuits and the second part, which I'll post in a separate video, is on Carnal Maps. Um, and so in the previous lecture we had been talking about where all, the, all these topics actually sit on our chain. And at the moment we're way down the bottom, down by chips and logic gates. Um, so we're just above kind of the, the physics, the electronic structure, and we're talking about the structure of the very, very simple logic gates that we can assemble, as we'll see in later lectures, into the full hardware that our computer actually runs on. So we're going to start off by talking about drawing logic circuits. Uh, at the end of the last lecture, um, I gave you this particular circuit diagram here, and I asked you to have a think about what truth table you get from this. And another way of explaining that is saying, okay, what is the logical e expression that's equivalent to this series of gates here? Now, hopefully some of you looked at that and went, whoa, that's a bit more complicated than what we're used to looking at. So instead of starting here, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a more simple circuit, talk through it and see how we can turn from that into a logical expression, and then we'll do the reverse. So here's an example. Let, let's start with this. So we've got an example, and we want to write a logical expression for this particular circuit here. So I've got my three inputs, A, B, and C, and I've got one that does this into an AND gate, like that, and I've got one that does like this. Hopefully I can fit this onto my board. That's an OR gate, that's an AND gate, that's a NOT and then I've got my output which I'm going to call Y so I can fit it on my whiteboard. So what's the logical expression for this? There's a few different ways of doing this but first you must be able to identify what your different types of gates are. So like I said we've got a NOT, an AND and an OR. And now we just have to figure out how these NOT, ANDs and ORs combine our inputs to give the output. So usually I'll start by writing my output expression Y equals and then I work it backwards. Why? Well it's because this, the final gate before you get to your output, that is the final operation that your logical expression will do. So I know my final logical expression here is going to be an OR. And if you remember, I write my OR like this. And I just look at the inputs of that. So one of the inputs, this one down here, is just C, which means my final output is going to be something OR C. So I write my C in. The next one, I'm following this line here backwards, and now it hits an AND gate. So I know I'm going to need an AND gate, and when I write my AND gate, that's just a full stop. And to make it clear, I'm going to put brackets around my AND gate too, just to say it hits the AND before we go into the OR. And now I just look at my input to my AND gate, I've got a NOT A and a B. So I write it, NOT A AND B. And that's my logical expression for this whole sentence here. Um, not A and B, or C. Hopefully that makes sense. There's a bunch of other examples online if you want to find them. So there's the answer written out in full. Now, we could do a slightly more complicated one, and I know this doesn't really look like it, but all I've done is I've done something slightly tricky, like this. I've got my B down here now, and I took a branch from here and put that in there, and this whole input here went away. So, what's my logical expression for this? Doing the exact same thing, I start from the end and work backwards, and I get y equals or b, so my input there, follow this back, I've got an AND gate again, so I put a little dot and my brackets in, and my input to my AND gate is a and not a. a and not a. Now the interesting thing about a and not a is that Regardless of what value A takes, that expression there, I'm just talking about that bit, the A and not A, that will never be true. That means this thing here, this whole expression, is always zero. It's always false, because A cannot be both true and false at the same time. They're mutually exclusive, which means I can simplify this expression to B. All I'm saying is that this whole part of my logic circuit here doesn't actually matter. The only input that can affect my output is my one at B. So this kind of simplification is really, really useful because it tells us we don't need that NOT gate, we don't need the AND gate, and anything else going into here is also irrelevant. This kind of simplification has implications for hardware. But it's not always super obvious. This one here is, is 
kind of clear. It is for me at any rate. There are a bunch of other rules that you may have seen in Engineering 121 for sorting these things out. But this simplification process is not always clear. Um, so let's, let's try one more. Here's a, a bigger example that I'll draw out. And now we've got multiple different inputs. Um, just clear that off. There we go. Okay. So I've got a B. And my B goes straight into there. I've got another AND gate down here. Like that. And I've got a C input in there. And then a B that goes in there. Whoa. Okay. So let's do my trick one more time. And uh, to give me some room, I'm going to write the output up here this time. So my output, again, the last gate is an OR, so I write my OR like that. And now I'm going to start with this AND gate here. So I've got an AND gate down the bottom, so I put my little AND dot and my brackets to make it clear to the marker. And I've got a C going in there, so an AND C. Now I look at the input above that, and I see, okay, the input here is not B, and I draw my not B like that. And now I look for this AND gate here, backwards, do my AND again, and my inputs to here are not A and B. Not A and B. So you can see that even a reasonably complicated circuit um, can on occasion simplify down to an even easier expression to, uh, to kind of understand. So uh, hopefully you will have, a lot of you will have seen these kind of expressions and know how to simplify them from the material that you've done in Engineering 121. So the final thing that we need to talk about in this lecture is how do we do the reverse? Okay, what, what happens if we start with this and we have to build a circuit from it? And again, this has pretty clear parallels to uh, actually building physical logic gate circuits. Because often you'll figure out a logical expression and then you'll have to build it yourself from scratch and figure out which gates to use and where. So here's my expression to start off with. It's not A or B and C or D. Oh, hideous. Okay. So once again, I start from the back end. So my output's going to be Y. So why do I do that? Well, that's because if I look at my brackets here, I can see my last gate that I need is an AND. Like the final operation done on this before it's evaluated to Y is an AND, which means my final gate is going to be an AND gate. Cool. And that AND gate is going to have two inputs. It's going to have not A or B and C and D. Okay. So now let me write my inputs up here. A, B, C, D. The C and D one is pretty simple. I just need one OR gate down here, C goes in there, D goes in there, that goes in there, that ticks off this part of the expression, and then my NOT A and B, um, I'm going to do another OR gate here, this one goes straight into there, NOT A and B. And that's it, that's my whole logical expression equivalent to that. So again, I'm just breaking it down into sections. I look for my AND gate first, the final operation, then I break it down into two chunks and do that chunk and then that chunk and then just connect it all together separately. So hopefully you can check that my output matches. Um, what you're seeing on the screen now is if I gave you a slightly different problem, so if I gave you that instead, this is now saying uh, not A or B and not C or D. So be a bit careful because where that line goes, if it's across the entire term, um, that means that the not for that actually has to go in here. It has to go after the original OR operation has been performed, which is why in the answers that you can see on screen for this question, I've got another NOT gate there. All right? This is not the same as having two NOT gates there. All right? It can be in some circuits, but it's not always the case. So be very, very careful where you put your NOT gates. The final thing I will mention is that there is a very, very common shorthand for NOT gates. Instead of drawing the triangle and the circle, what you can usually do is what's on the slide there, which is draw a little circle immediately before the input. Right? So that means this is exactly equivalent to that, with the little circles just a note, um, annotating a, a NOT 
rather than having to show the whole gates. Because as you can imagine, in logical expressions, not be knots become very, very common. And so it's much, much easier to just get rid of that gate and have it as a little circle instead. So finally, what if you've got an expression like this? This has three inputs and four terms. It's got four separate or, so it's got four OR gates, um, a bunch of different AND gates. That looks absolutely horrid to build. And so I probably wouldn't ask you to draw me something like this for an expression like that. It's got lots of different inputs and it's really easy to make a really simple little mistake. So what we usually would do is instead of trying to wire that all up, we would try and simplify it logically first and then build the logic gate from that simplified expression. The simpler way of doing that is called carnal maps and that's the topic of the next half of this lecture. So once again, just for a review question, I could ask you to draw me a logic gate circuit for any of those expressions you can see on the slides. And again, for a challenge question, I'd ask you, how could you simplify them? How, you, how could you move them around? So we'll finish that lecture there. And um, the next one, we'll continue on on how to do carnal maps.